Over the past week, Ukrainian forces carried out a series of drone raids on rear Russian facilities. In Voronezh region, minor damage was recorded at Baltimore and Borisoglebskoye airfields. Another group of kamikaze drones flew to Nizhny Novgorod region. The Sabasleka airfield, where MiG-31 fighters are based, was attacked. Ukrainian forces also again subjected the territory of the Crimean Peninsula to a combined attack. In Uzkaya Gully, as well as at Cape Tarkankut and in Sevastopol, eight unrued boats were sunk and six UAVs were intercepted. Simultaneously, the AFU fired at least 12 missiles from the ATAS-EMS surface-to-air missile defense system at the Crimean Bridge. All targets were intercepted on approach, and the resulting minor damage to the roadway was promptly repaired. Russian forces, for their part, continued their practice of hitting AFU missile carriers. In Mirhorod, a strike from an Iskander surface-to-air missile defense system destroyed ASU-27 and a Maigi-29 burned down as a result of a direct hit at the Aviatorsky airfield. In addition, Russian forces for the first time hit the AFU's stationary S-125 air defense complex. As a result of a direct hit by a KH-35 missile, the launcher detonated. In addition, the Russian armed forces continued to strike Western-style air defense systems. Iris T SAMs were destroyed in the Sumi region, as well as four Patriot SAMs and an AN MPQ-65 radar station in the Dnepropetrovsk region. In the Kursk region, the Ukrainian forces continued to carry out attacks in several areas. In the Belovo district, the enemy unsuccessfully attempted to advance towards Guraya, losing up to 10 armored vehicles. In Koronevsky district, fierce fighting continued on the approaches to the administrative center. And in the neighboring Glushkovsky district, the AFU destroyed a bridge span over the same river with an aerial bomb, complicating the evacuation of the population. On the Slobozhanska direction, the enemy made three attempts to enter the territory through the Bezimeno and Kolotilovka checkpoints. In the latter, the AFU units even managed to gain a foothold for several hours at the cost of losses in manpower and armored vehicles. On the kupyansk zvatove direction, Russian forces knocked out AFU units from several forest belts south of Berestovoye. Despite the enemy's attempts to regain control over the lost positions, the Russian armed forces' assault aircraft held the occupied line. In the Lyman direction, Russian forces have expanded their zone of control on the eastern outskirts of Makiivka. Only part of the village on the opposite bank of the Jerebets River remains under AFU control. In the Siversk direction, there is fighting in the area of Bilohorivka, Verkhonokamyanska, and Perizne. At the same time, the AFU shelled Lysikonsk with a cluster munition. Three civilians were killed and about 30 others were wounded. In the Artemovsk direction, Russian troops advanced one and a half kilometers along the forest belt, consolidating on the approaches to Hryhorivka. To the southeast, the Russian armed forces occupied a major enemy stronghold at Height 215, northwest of Kleshchivka. On the Oleksandrivske Kalinove direction, Russian forces established full control over Kirov, including the Severna mine dump. The Russian armed forces also liberated Artyomov, knocking out the enemy from positions north of the sump and in the area of the Artyoma mine. In New York, Russian ground attackers expanded their zone of control along Molodezhna and Horlivska streets. At the same time, the pocket between Shiroka Gully and New York, as well as the eastern part of the settlement's private sector, was cleared. On the Pokrovsky, Russian troops are breaking through the AFU defenses. During the week, Lysikne 
Ivanivka and Sviridonivka were liberated on the northern flank. To the south, the Russian armed forces occupied Orlivka and Mikolaivka and began storming enemy positions on the outskirts of Novorodivka. In the Donetsk direction, Russian troops pushed the AFU units to the western bank of the Karlovsk Reservoir. The fighting in this area had been going on for more than a month, and now the territory adjacent to Yasnobrodivka is under the control of the Russian armed forces. On the south Donetsk direction, Russian troops are storming Koshanti Nivka, having occupied about a third of the village. To the south, the Russian armed forces have made significant advances along the Solonenka Gully in the direction of the T0524 highway. On the Vremivka direction, Russian troops are fighting in the forest belts to the north and northeast of Urozhane. Russian Air Force Aviation is working on enemy positions in Blahodatne and other surrounding settlements. On the Zaporizhzhia direction, Russian troops stormed several enemy positions on the approaches to the Chubankova Gully. Ukrainian force, in turn, continue shelling and attacking Enerhodar with drones. There are no significant changes in the operational situation in the Kherson direction. The sides are exchanging artillery strikes and UAV raids, as well as fighting in the island zone of the Dnipro River. 